are coming out of these bins. I believe we have four bins here. And Rick, what are in? What do we have here? The different bins have different parts of our diet. So uh, this one large bin is cornmeal. So that's ground up corn, kernels of corn ground up really, really fine. Uh, the next bin would be a lactating mix. It has uh, protein and the vitamins and the minerals um, that the, the cow needs in her diet. And then uh, there's a small bin there that has a special, we call it a dry cow, a cow that's on vacation diet, has a very special mix for her. On the other side, we have two other large bins. One is our, uh, our fresh cow bit, uh, diet, which is uh, for the uh, specific uh, cows that are only just had a baby and only been a couple weeks. And then uh, the biggest tank is a canola, which is a protein uh, that comes from rapeseed. Um, you've heard of canola oil. That's where this the canola grain is left after they take off the canola oil. And uh, so that's part of the protein that we add to the cow's diet. Uh, cows are great recyclers. They take a lot of things that are, are leftovers from manufacturing, such as the canola. When they manufacture, take the canola oil from the rapeseed, the grain is what's left over. Uh, the, the cornmeal, of course, is the corn grain itself. Um, we use whey in the mixes, a liquid whey. It comes from a cheese plant, which is left over. After they make the cheese, we can take that back. The cows can use the sugar and the, and the energy in that to make milk. Um, a lot of the feed ingredients you'll see when we get down to the feed bunks, there'll be corn silage, which is the whole corn plant, including ear, all ground and chopped and stored and fermented. Uh, you'll see hay crop silage, which is uh, grass or alfalfa that's been cut and then uh, 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 and, and siled and fermented. Um, there's, uh, uh, so, some, we don't use it here, but some farms will use whole cotton seed which is left over after they take off the cotton, off the, the ball, ball of cotton, they had the seed left over. The cows can actually digest that and use that for energy and fiber. So cows are great recyclers. They use a lot of things that used to be back years ago were thrown away, <laughs> and now they use it to make milk and meat. So each time an ingredient goes into the wagon, the scale resets and can, even yep. though there's already stuff in there, it's able to keep this. weighing the separate ingredient and constantly mixing right. it in. The scale head will actually tell us what ingredient goes in next. We have we can set the scale up so um, we we go in a certain order, and it keeps track of each. Um, it tells us how much of each ingredient has to go in. So it will roll over to the next ingredient. Like right now, the scale head has cornmeal on it, and so as we when we pull up to the cornmeal tank and start uh, running cornmeal in, it'll count down the weight until it gets a zero, and then we hit. Then we, then, we'll, then we stop when it gets to zero and it'll roll over to the next ingredient in, in the, in the uh, correct the order that we have it set. And so it's telling us all the while how much to put in and what, what goes in next and then it records how much actually went in. And then when we get all done, it'll tell us, you're all done, now you can deliver and feed. And uh, as we unload it, it keeps track of how much we feed to that pen also. So we know exactly how much the cows are eating on a daily basis, how much of each ingredient we're, we're using. We can track inventories to know how much when we need to order more or how much longer we have before we'll be out. Um, the scale system actually keeps track of that for us. Uh, it also tells us, it knows how many cows are in the mix, how much feed we fed them, and it tells us how much the cows are eating on a, a dry matter basis, on a per cow basis. So we can, we can track the health of the cows that way also. And so right now, how many cows are we feeding today? Do you know, you know the exact number every day, I guess? Yeah, well, there's uh, to almost 1,300 milk and dry cows being fed and another 800 young stock calves up to uh, first-time moms. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a gang of them here. All righty. All right, well, thanks. We'll head down to the bunks and watch the operation happening. Thank you. Yep.